hey, good morning. Hey, I'm just trying to check in and find out what's going on out here and what is our true mission and purpose. As we continue to try and find ways to build our business, why are we neglecting one of the biggest opportunities that we have out there? And maybe you're asking, well, what is that? Or maybe you're just a really good reader because in the title of today's post, I wanted to share about the idea and the concept behind referrals. And not only referrals, but asking for referrals. Not necessarily or directly intentionally to your direct database, but maybe it's to people that they know. I'm wondering, why is it that something that sounds so simple and we pay thousands of dollars to go to these different sales conferences and so forth, but yet we're afraid to ask our friends or families or past clients for a referral? That's right, we need to do a better job at consistently reminding each other to ask and engage our database for opportunities as to who do you know that could use my services and paint that referral picture. As we continue to read and study and, and look at books and go to Tony Robbins or sales gurus and different things, we just need to be able to make sure that we're continually in front of a database that continues to encourage us to succeed and win. I was to truly ask you the question self-reflectively right now or jump in and chime in on this deal. When is the last time that you asked your database for a referral? When is the last time that you painted that referral picture for the people that you work with and you want to make sure that you're doing this in a way that's non-salesy. It's just kind of crazy in and to itself. So we have this whole database of people and most of the people that we work with have a database of at least 1,500 to 2,000 people. And many people sell themselves short because what they're doing is they don't even realize that they only have their database of three to 500 people, not because they don't know additional people that can help them grow their business or even that they won't help them grow their business, but we just haven't asked for that business. So I guess right now here in this video, while you're watching it, I wanna ask you, who is someone that you work with? Who is a colleague at your office that could use our services that we could benefit. If the way that we operate and respond and follow through on what we say we're going to do could benefit them, would you, would you give me the opportunity? Would you pass along my information to them and help me grow my business? I don't wanna tell you to do anything that I'm not willing to do myself. And so as we're starting to go towards the end of the year, many people kind of, hey, well, what's working? What's the silver bullet? I just don't understand. Well, we need to make sure that we start at home first. The people that know, trust, and love us can truly help us grow our business. And here's just one of those novel concepts that we hear quite a bit, which is, what if each one of your clients could send you one referral, one referral this month, this week, this year? What would that do for your business? If you're a realtor and you did 12 sales last year, what if each one of those 12 sales could refer you one person? and you truly did double your business. We hear it, we say it, we think it, we, we, we say we're gonna ask for those referrals, but how often, if we're honest with ourselves, do we truly ask for that referral? So my whole reason for wanting to post this is because this is something that came back up as to something that I was reading this morning. And I realized that, man, I think I asked for them quite a bit, but I can also tell you that it's definitely not enough. And so, I want to continue to encourage to come alongside to be an accountability partner with you and your business and to truly help you grow your business. If we are honest with ourselves, how often do we ask for a referral? I mean, I think we can all say that we've been in different rooms and or arenas and there's people in that room that can share business with you or that you can share business with. But number one, they've never asked you and you've never asked them. And, you know, shame on us as salespeople. You know, just because you're asking for a referral or to help somebody does not mean that you're trying to be over salesy and that you're trying to sell them. It just means that you're wanting to help them. As a realtor, um, you know, here's something that's novel in concept. Number two, one and two reasons as to why people say that they don't want to work with family or friends. Number one is because they forgot that you sold real estate. Number two is because they're claiming that they don't want their personal business out there. So if we know what our top two objections are, why can't we find ways of overcoming those objections, addressing those, be it via text, be it via email or newsletter? We have so many opportunities and tools at our disposal. And now with things such as this, like social media, you have an absolute opportunity at zero cost to you to do something simple, maybe like a live video or YouTube or whichever else you might use, uh, to be able to get our message out. So I would encourage you today, 
I look forward to hearing from you guys via text messages, via email saying, you know what, because of your encouragement this morning, I asked my database for a referral. And this is how many leads I got of it as a result. So please take this message to heart. Write it down. Make an active effort today and in the upcoming days and week to ask for referrals. Okay? Ask, ask, ask. Don't be afraid. What's it all tell? Mom always said, if you never ask, you'll never receive. That's right. Also, if you want to go hobby horse time, uh, closed mouths never get fed. That is right. Closed mouths never get fed. Take that with you today, and I hope that this message rings true to you, and it's a great reminder, <laughs> if I can talk right, um, to ask for the referral. Hope you found this useful today, and um, if you can think of another topic that you would like us to chat on, please let me know. I'm always down to learn. Uh, also, we do have our YouTube channel. Please feel free to check us out. It's under my name, Ryan J. Orr, and um, a ton of different rants and or videos to be able to help move us along in this age when YouTube videos and online presence is definitely huge. So check it out uh, or book an appointment with, with us today. We'd love to be able to be a part of your team. All right. God bless you, and we'll see you real soon.